And here we are at my daughter's room, just uh, one floor above the smart meter that SDG&E put on our home after, uh, well, convincing me that uh, there's no problem that the meter only sends off a signal a couple times a day and that the signals aren't harmful. They're only like a cell phone call a couple times a day. No big deal. So this is on my daughter's pillow. Um, this is a normal level of radiation that's, well there we go. The 0 0.3, 0 0.4 in that range, that's the normal level of radiation that is present on the Earth's surface that uh, mankind has been exposed to for tens of thousands of years. And recently we've been getting a whole heck of a lot more. And uh, many scientists and uh, physicians, healthcare practitioners around the world in the United States, Canada, Europe are uh, sounding the alarm that uh, this stuff isn't as safe as the as the uh, people who are making money off of it are claiming it is. So here we are within a two within just a couple of minutes we've had two signals sent off by the smart meter already up through the wall of my child's bedroom and through her pillow and headboard and unbeknownst, unbeknownst to me for nine months into her head and body until I moved her out of this room and moved my family to the other side of the house until we can get this issue taken care of until I and once again, be an American, having a choice of what my family gets exposed to. Now we don't see; it's kind of hard to see how how much of a dose it was getting. I see some threes up there, but these max pulse rates shoots the signal out, depending on how far the signal has to go. Apparently, it uh uses more energy. Like right there you had a max pulse of 162.4. In the past I've had uh, readings up to 12, 1300 microwatts per meter squared which is nearing the levels of measurements I've recorded within a couple hundred feet of uh, full-size cell towers in our town. So I'm just going to leave this on and we'll see what the next pulse goes up to. Now there might be other pulses coming out at lower levels under 268.4. It'll only register if, if the next pulse gets up beyond there you go, beyond the, the last pulse. So in a good 5-10 minute uh, sample you can get some pretty varied uh, max pulses coming through the wall and into your child's room and body. Like I said, I've had them up to 12, 1300, but I wasn't recording them at the time, so we'll do this a few times over the next uh, few weeks, different times of the day, in the middle of the night, see how much uh, I record how much my daughter was getting during the uh, during the eight hours she stays in here sleeping.
Yeah, I'm not. I don't have a timer on me right now, but I'm sure at the bottom of this page or the uh, at the time counter on the bottom of the uh, YouTube panel there, you can see we just shot up to a 919.5. Okay, I'm going to start putting this thing, clearing it, putting it back on max pulse. So you get a better idea of how many times the uh, smart meter sends a signal through the walls of the house. Once again, like I said before, they're 0.3 to 0.8 is the uh, natural Earth's uh, magnetic field or microwave field that it gives off a non-ionizing radiation let's say that Uh, that was a pretty good one. Just to tell you, let you know, this is anecdotal, not a scientific survey or scientific connection. However, while in this room for those nine months, my daughter started developing headaches, difficulty sleep, going to sleep, and staying asleep, um, various aches and pains, bone pains. back pain, just stuff stuff a, a kid shouldn't have. And uh, once I started researching cell towers, it uh, led me to other areas where this type of radiation is being admitted and uh, led me right to smart meters. We all heard about it in the news. Referred to offhandedly every now and again but nothing ever uh, seems to come of it. It's kind of like the cell phone safety uh, issue. People have heard but cell, phone cell phones are dangerous, cell phones are safe, don't worry about it. Keep buying them, keep using them. Don't hurt the economy. And uh, just a couple months ago, the World Health Organization finally came out and uh, classified uh, cell phone microwave radiation as a class 2B carcinogen. But in my opinion, that'll probably work its way up the uh, ladder as uh, the web, the evidence becomes way too overwhelming for the uh, for the people who make money off of these devices to uh, refute kinda like the whole cigarette whole cigarette causes cancer uh, fight that went on for years when everybody knew it did but the uh, cigarette manufacturers fought it tooth and nail. Hmm. OK, 
Okay, if I'm estimating this right, this looks like this is going off every at the uh, at the very least every two minutes. So that would be approximately thirty times an hour times seven or eight hours of sleep. Let's say a kid sleeps seven hours. So we got a kid getting pulsed with microwave radiation 210 times a night. Is it simply harmless microwave radiation going into their uh, tissue? won't cause a problem or you should believe uh, different uh, scientists who are willing to uh, stand up and raise a flag that this is going to be a problem for the next generation this is the first generation that it's been exposed to this type of radiation from before conception. If you think about all the women who carry cell phones, all the men who carry cell phones in their front pocket, in their purse, I see women walking around um, holding the baby in their left arm and talking on a cell phone with their right hand. The cell phone radiating levels much higher than this, right next to their uh, child's head. And no government agency, no medical agency is letting people know what they're being exposed to. But in that position, you have a choice. You have a choice whether to uh, hold a cell phone against your head eight hours a day. In this situation, in, in the, what's supposed to be your safe haven, your home, you have no choice. Unless you do like I did and move your family to the opposite side, opposite side of the house to where there's a uh, it's not registering. Well, it looks like I'm closing in on my time to uh, length of time I can post stuff on YouTube. Uh, let this, uh, let your uh, representative, I don't know how much good that would do, let your representative know that you, you would like to be informed of, uh, of that you're not, com you, you're not comfortable with this. And that you want to have a choice 
whether they have the uh, old meters that need to be read. Place back on your home. Or if you're not concerned about the uh, amount of radiation coming into your home, you're not concerned about whether it's a uh, safety issue or not, just be aware that it's there. And uh, if any future odd physical ailments or uh, symptoms pop pop up in your child or in you if you have a room right outside there just uh, keep that in mind that to uh, not discount the effects of uh, microwave radiation on your health